I would just like to briefly add, now that we're talking about moment of inertia, to take you back to one of the first concepts that we had in, um, in kinematics, right? And it was this idea that the linear velocity um, is equal or proportional to the angular velocity times its radius. So as you increase the radius and keep the angular velocity constant, you would increase the linear velocity. And that's why we use rackets, golf clubs, to, to really increase the speed, the linear um, velocity on the ball. So if you increase the radius, you increase the linear velocity if the angular velocity is the same. However, when you increase a racket or the length of a club, it also increases the moment of inertia. And the moment of inertia is the resistance to angular motion. So it, the increase in moment of inertia makes it very difficult to maintain this angular velocity. So to maintain the angular velocity, you need to be stronger, right? So you can say, oh, I advise you to use this golf club, but then you may also have to recommend them to a strength and conditioning coach to be able to gain the musculature to generate the torque at the certain joints to maintain this angular velocity to benefit from the increased linear velocity from the increased radius. So this holds true only if you can maintain this angular velocity and the angular velocity becomes harder to maintain when you increase the length of, say, the golf club because the moment of inertia increases and the moment of inertia is the resistance to angular motion.